Well, Joga, again, I, I think that's a very legitimate question. Um, you know, the European Union is the ministry of, 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 of the statements, you know, the ministry of wishful thinking. What the European does is to issue statements. Um, and of course, you need statements. But the question is, what are they doing about it? Um, because, uh, yes, there are, uh, 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 you know, severe human rights violations in these countries. Um, some of them, many of them, uh, by the jihadist groups themselves. But if you actually look at the number of casualties and the causes of uh, incidents and the causes of those deaths of, of civilians, then over the last three or four years, what you see is that more civilians, according to records kept by a very reliable NGO called ACLED, um, more, more civilians have been killed by the security forces and militias who are backed more or less by the security forces than have been killed by the jihadists or by organized crime. So we've got a problem here. And this is a structural problem. It's not just a problem that when there's a raid on, on some village, the EU should issue another declaration condemning and uh, demanding that those responsible be brought to justice. Now, there has been some progress on this, for, in, on this front um, with the encouragement of the European Union. Uh, the G5 Sahel, along with the uh, United Nations, which does a very good job, the uh, MINUSMA, the United Nations presence uh, in Mali, they may not be terribly uh, effective as peacekeepers, but they are very effective as it were as scorekeepers uh, by uh, reporting regularly, the quarterly reports on human rights violations uh, and abuses uh, in Mali are really uh, 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 um, you know, uh, an important way of casting a, a spotlight on all of the things that are going wrong. Now, um, uh, the G5 Secretariat, MINUSMA, and the armed forces of Mali have jointly set up uh, a, what's called a follow-up mechanism uh, for incidents where civilians are affected. And this, over time, should lead to prosecutions, uh, 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 and punishment and uh, compensation. Uh, this is uh, the case where G5 Sahel forces are involved and they are uh, generally agreed to be more disciplined than some of the national armed forces, but there is no accountability at all for what the self-defense militias, as they're called, often backed by the state or at least tolerated by the state in the absence of public security forces get up to. And whether it's the Cogliuego in, in uh, uh, Burkina Faso or the Dozos, the, the hunters, uh, 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 the Dogon hunters in um, uh, Mali, you know, they've been up to no good. And uh, one of the priorities which I recommend in my report is that the EU should insist, and again, use its financial leverage with these countries to insist that these self-help militias uh, be dissolved and that their members either be retrained and brought into the uh, regular security forces or be disarmed uh, and, and sent back to civilian life. Because uh, once, as soon as you get militias like this, the, 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 the risk of uh, atrocities of, of tit for tat, uh, ethnic uh, uh, atrocities uh, goes up. And we're seeing exactly that. 